Okay, so how do you change the theme of your website? So you're going to go to your dashboard, right? And you're going to hover over appearance, hover over it, and then you're going to see themes. You want to pick themes. So there are some default themes that are available to you, and I'll, I'll show you uh, how to deal with that. So uh, if you ever get these messages up here, they're just trying to be cute. So go ahead and close these things like that. All right, so currently your theme, the one that's active, is whatever it says active here. And you can change to a different theme by clicking on activate here. So I'm just going to activate this as an example. Um, so now 2019 is active. And if you go up and view your site, that's kind of what it looks like. And if you go back to your themes, hover over, go back to themes, and change it to say this one activate it give it a second you can see that now it's that theme and then go view not much difference right so let's go to some other themes so themes and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on add new right up here add new and um, you can go to f there's various categories featured popular latest favorite so popular is a good one to start with so you can see there's different themes here Right, so people spend lots of money actually buying or they actually sell these themes. So if you're a good theme maker, you can create a theme and sell them. Um, so um, let's just, for example, take this one. So I'm going to install it. I'm going to install it, and once it's installed, then you have to activate it. So there's two steps: you have to install it and then activate it. So it'll install it. You can see that the active theme now is the one you've chosen. And then if you go view the site, it kind of looks like that. Um, so you can deal with putting images in later. Uh, but the point is, you can then go pick another theme. So you can have a bunch of themes listed here. So let's go add new. Go ahead and pick another theme. Um, let's go to popular again. And just pick one that you think you might like. So it takes time to kind of figure out which one you want. Let's try this one. Installing. And activate. Don't forget to activate. You can see that now that's the active one. So let's go here and visit the site. All right. So don't worry about what it looks like right now. Uh, we, we can change the, what actually the pictures look like and so on. So, for example, if you're going to go to your, your About Me page for this particular theme, you can edit the page as an example. Um, and right here, you can go Featured Image. You can create that featured image. And uh, so, for example, I'm going to click here and click on Set Featured Image. Um, go to my Media Library. Pick a photo if I had one and then insert it in. But I don't have one at this moment in time. Um, so anyway, the point is, the point is themes. You can change the themes as often as you want just by picking a theme. Um, I do want to say that if you're not using a theme, you should delete it. So how do you delete a theme? Select on, just click on theme details, and right down here, you'll see delete, All right? And then you can delete it. As an example, now sometimes a theme will. Th this is a child theme from Primer. So if you delete Primer, so let's say this. If I delete Primer, if I delete Primer, sometimes that guy will affect this one, right? So some so some themes depend on others, and you'll 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 get to see, for example, here. Basically, if if there is no delete button, then that means it. It depends on something else, right? So it depends on the, the theme that you pick. Um, the point I'm trying to say is that try to save space on the web server by deleting the themes you're not using. If you have 30 themes down here, you're taking up web space on the web server and you're, you're basically um, clogging up the, the web server hard drive. So delete themes you're not using um, like this. Okay? So that's how you set your theme.